Gilda the Gennara. It was a night like many others, and in Avellino, a cold wind was beating on the buildings. After passing through Naples and Salerno, the Bafana had arrived in the historic centre of the Apinia capital to deliver the last stockings to the children. In Piazza Liberta, while the Bafana was preparing to go down the alleys of the oldest part of the city, the Gennara Gilda appeared in front of her and pinched her broom. The Bafana fell to the ground, but luckily, just behind the fountain in the square, she found a broom which someone had left behind. With her magic, she made it like the original. She straddled it and started chasing her evil cousin. Here and there, above and below, between the street lamps of Via Napi and the alleys of Via Duomo, they both arrived under the clock tower. They began to circle around the most important bell tower in the city, around and around and around. When they had completed the tenth lap, the Bafana was exhausted, but her cousin was not. She was younger than her, and continued riding on her broom. Just as she was turning for the umpteenth time, the Gennara Gilda crashed into the clock tower, remaining, remaining attached to one of the clock hands. The Bafana immediately took advantage of her cousin's accident and got her broom back. She quickly ran away to deliver the stockings to all the children and continued her tour of the towns. The Gennara in the clock tower. The witch Gilda remained attached to the clock hand all night until her dress ripped and she fell to the second floor of the tower. It was then that she decided to enter the monument to hide from humans and to shelter from the cold. However, there was a problem. The Gennara no longer had a broom and, limping as she was, could not get home. In fact, she had broken her ankle in the fall. So Gilda started living in the tower, going out at night, limping to steal something to eat. Very often smoke came out of the central part of the tower. Someone had reported it, but no one would have ever imagined that a witch lived in that tower. A few years later, however, the Bafana remembered her bad cousin and went to see her. Her cousin, being the eldest, took away the power of immortality and Gilda began to age. From that day, the Gennara, originally from Benevento, began to go out through the streets of Avellino and went back home to the tower at night without anyone seeing her. She managed to make friends with many locals and became sweet and friendly. The night of January the sixth, yeah, the, the night of January six years later, was Gilda's last day in Avellino. Just that evening, the old witch was writing a poem to dedicate to the Apinia capital, when a strong wind circled the tower and carried it away. The poem of the Gennara. The next morning, a craftsman who was a friend of hers found the first part of the poem, which read, One night I sneaked into the tower, and from that day I stole many things from the people. All of a sudden I began to age, and all the Avellino people started to love me. Avellino, a mysterious land. The craftsman placed the piece of paper back on the bedside table and that night he dreamed of the Gennara who was telling her whole story. The townspeople went in search of the good witch but no one ever found her. Every year on January the 6th, according to legend, Gilda returns to Avellino to revisit her cold dwelling, a small room in a large tower which still has a magical charm today.